Hey guys, Johnny here from Ecomaccess SEO. Broken links on Shopify stores. They're a real pain, but really easy to fix. Just quickly, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below, or head on over to our private Facebook group where we've got plenty of great discussion going on over there about Shopify SEO. Links in the description. Now, broken links, it, they're one of the easiest things to fix on any site, but it's amazing how many stores when we're doing technical audits we find with many broken links. Shopify is a pain, as we know, uh, for a lot of this sort of stuff. Um, and it will create extra URLs, which you don't even know are there a lot of the time, um, which many times can be uh, can be a broken link. There's other reasons you're going to have broken links on your site. So an obvious one would be where um, you've had um, a product live on your site. Um, maybe you've written a blog post about that product and linked to that product and then that product's gone out of stock. And because we're all busy, you forget that you wrote a blog post about it. Um, you didn't 301 redirect um, when that product went out of stock to a collection or to the homepage or whatever, however you're going to do it. And so that link on the blog um, is now um, a broken link and it goes to a 404. So 404s in themselves aren't a problem, but if you've got a, a heap of 404s and broken internal links and even external links, so links going to other sites, that are broken, it's just a not a good quality signal for Google and it, it's, they're really simple to fix. So, But you need to know they're there. So that, that's a, the biggest challenge, um, especially with Shopify. Um, on something like WordPress, um, you can just install a plugin um, and really easy to find those broken links. Uh, also on Shopify, you can install an app, but you've got to pay some money generally. So you can use um, the tool that, that we use on our smaller sites is Screaming Frog. You can find your 404s really easily. If you've got a much larger site, enterprise type site, um, we're an agency partner with Deepcrawl, so we use Deepcrawl to find all our um, broken pages. And almost every crawl we run with Deepcrawl, um, we find broken links on site. It's just one of those things um, in, in the nature of e-commerce, there's gonna be products going in and out of stock, and inevitably we miss those, um, those broken links and, and don't redirect them properly. So you can see here, here's an example of a site. Um, we ran a, a, a site crawl today, 204 broken pages. Now, admittedly, a lot of those pages are the same broken links. So um, it's just that links on many, many different pages on the site, but there's 204 of them. So we just need to fix one of the two of those links and then those broken links are gonna disappear. So it's just, it, it's embarrassing if you don't fix your broken links. Um, it, it's, it, it's just amazing if um, we run a site crawl and an audit for a potential client or someone wants to run the run a crawl to get an idea of how their site technical issues are and we can almost guarantee we're going to find broken links so and and most times the site owners don't even know they're there um, it's just a no-brainer that you need to fix them so i'm not going to show you how to actually go through um, and use broke screaming frog but um, screaming frog up to 500 urls is free so um, it makes sense to download it put it on your desktop and then you can just go to google and type in how to find broken links with screaming frog um, and they've got a really cool, um, very simple tutorial on how to do it. Um, so then essentially all you do, um, you identify where the broken links are and you decide what to do with them. So um, if it's to an external site that's no longer um, relevant or no longer live, for example, you might just remove that link entirely from the content. Um, if it's an internal link where uh, you don't have that product anymore, um, you, again, you might remove the uh, the link from the content, but you might decide to redirect it somewhere else. So you've got a number of different ways that you can deal with it. The key is just get rid of all the broken links. There's no excuse um, to have broken links on your site when you've got free tools like Screaming Frog. Um, and unless you're entirely over your site every day of the week, I can almost guarantee you're going to find some broken links if you go and run Screaming Frog. Okay, thanks. Just a quick one today. Hopefully that's helpful.